This video will show you how to use an add-on called AutoCrat to be able to return the teacher goal setting sheets back to them in a format that looks very professional and uh, is just a nice way to see the, the data. So I wanted to first go back to our live form and make sure that you notice that despite us not doing anything to put it on there, one of the options that's at the bottom of the form before folks submit it is to check a box that says send me a copy of my responses. So I just wanted to show you what that email looks like. So if I go into my email, it sent to me then uh, a copy of my responses where it shows me which option I chose on each question. So that's one way that you can get the information back, but it is dependent on the individual teacher clicking that box before they hit submit. Mm -hmm. And I think we could make it look a bit more professional, so I wanted to show you the uh, add-on to be able to do that. So AutoCrat is an add-on that you install in spreadsheets and it works just, we go through the installation process to get add-ons, we search for AutoCrat, A-U-T-O-C-R-A-T. Uh, I have already installed it, but your button will be blue. You'll go ahead and click, click on the blue button, you'll install it, you'll give it permissions to your account and it will always be available in your spreadsheets from that point forward. What AutoCrat does is let you basically create a mail merge. So it's going to pull the information out of your spreadsheet and put it into a format that you create that looks nice uh, to be get, given out to whomever you need to uh, give that data to. But the system will automate, we can set it up so that it automatically returns that to the teacher. So to start with, we need to make the template. So I'm going to go back to my Google Drive do a new and we want to make a new Google Doc. So go ahead and open up the Google Doc and we will name this uh, AutoCrat Template uh, BART Goal Setting uh, so that we know what this is for. It's helpful when you're starting to use AutoCrat if you include that in the name to help you find what you're looking for. So we want this to look nice and we use the art on our form that was a shot of the school's web from the school's website. So I'll go ahead and put that same art at the top of this page. We'll go back and choose that uh, screen banner and we'll put that so that will show up on the page that every single person gets after they create the form. So I'm going to go ahead and click to the right of this and hit return. Now anything that I type on this form will go to everybody exactly the same way unless I put that information in brackets and I'll show you what I mean here. So first we'll go ahead and include the date which it will pull from the spreadsheet. Uh, so I just typed the word date. Maybe I'd like to have all of that be bold. So I'm going to go ahead and click the bold button. Now to pull the date from the spreadsheet, I type two carats, and this is the key to the right of your M key on your computer keyboard. Then I go look at my spreadsheet for the heading that has the date, and mine is called timestamp as will yours be because that's uh, included automatically when you create a Google form. So I go back to my document and I type the word timestamp and then I put two closing brackets. So that tells this, AutoCrat will look at this form and when it sees the brackets, it knows that we're pointing it back to the spreadsheet to the column that says timestamp and it will pull the date that's in that column and put it in there for us automatically. So we also want to include the teacher's name. So I'll do my brackets. I'll go back over to the form. That column is called name with a capital N. So I'll go ahead and go back and type in the word name with my closing brackets. And notice everything is bold right now because I made that date bold. Maybe I don't want the actual name and date to be bold, but just the words uh, the headings for those, so I'll go ahead and take the bold off of there. So other things that we collected from the spreadsheet. Um, one easy way to call them over is just to highlight across our questions, do a copy, go back over to our document. No idea where that came from. Uh, we'll go back over to our document and paste those. And then we can just pull them up from here so that we have them exactly 
the way they are from our sheet because that will be important to let AutoCrack find them. So I'll go ahead and just copy these all up. We could type them all as we were doing before, but it is important that uh, we have them exactly correct. Go ahead and put that in. And this is from the form that uh, we made earlier in our videos. If you haven't seen that, you could certainly go back and look at it. So I need to then just delete uh, this. So I'll go ahead and uh, double click that and hit delete, maybe. Or we'll just leave it for now. All right, so these are the headings from the columns. And I'm gonna go ahead now and put the double brackets on each of those. Again, you can certainly copy and paste those one at a time. Uh, you can just type them, but it is important that they exactly match your spreadsheet. So there are lots of ways you can do that. You've seen that my typing skills aren't the greatest, so copying and pasting is probably a better option for me. So if I don't type anything besides uh, pulling those column headers over in the brackets, it will just list them there. So if I want to, I can say email address, which is the same as username. I can say school. I can say supervising administrator. And I could say plan. I don't have to have the words match exactly here because this is just a heading on my paper. But they do have to match exactly to your spreadsheet what's, um, when they're between the brackets. So uh, your goal. Right? And actually, I want to have that one up a bit higher. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll put that before plan. So I'll just. Um, and I don't have to pull all of the information off of the spreadsheet. I can if I want to. I can put it in a different order on here if I want to, uh, but it's up to me. So I'll go back and look because I know we did ask some additional questions about the tools that a teacher needs. Um, for this one, just to show you, I'll just copy this one individually. I'll go back and do a paste, and then I need to remember to put my brackets in. And if I go back for our last one, what evidence will you collect? I'll copy it from up here just to show you again that I can copy it and paste it in. Then I need to put my brackets in. And I'll want to go ahead and say uh, tools required is what we'll use as the heading for this one. And evidence is what we'll use here. Now, I, I like the headings to look bold, so I'm just going to go ahead and go back and make those bold. I'm just highlighting across there and clicking the bold button. And this is creating the template that we will be using with AutoCRAT. So it's important that you make the template in advance of activating the AutoCRAT. So right now, uh, this is our template. This the Atom Central banner and everything that you see in bold will show up on every individual teacher's report. The rest of it will all be customized based on the answers that they included in the spreadsheet. So if we go back to the spreadsheet now, um, we can look again where we have add-ons and we can use AutoCRAP. And I'm going to pause here uh, to let you learn from one of uh, my mistakes. Um, it will generate those individual files and just store them in your drive, which is fine. But if you create a folder in advance, you can direct AutoCRAT to keep those all in that folder. So I'm going to go back to my Google Drive and say New Folder. And I will call this uh, BART Teacher Goal Sheets. And for me, I'm working on a demo because I do have lots of real folders full of teacher goal sheets in here. So I will include demo. So I'm going to go ahead and create that folder so that it's ready now when I go activate AutoCRAP. So I'll go back to my spreadsheet. And since we only have one answer in the spreadsheet when I completed it, I'm going to go ahead and go back to our form and uh, fill it out one more time. So I'll fill it out for Jackie. Uh, she's at the alternative school. 
Dr. Lofquist, and she is working on previewing new content, uh, and she's going to learn three new tech tools. in her math class semester. Uh, she needs iPad, she may need iTunes credit, and time to collaborate. And ESU's PD staff. Uh, evidence, uh, she will have student products and student uh, survey. And she won't choose to uh, send herself a copy of this and she'll go ahead and hit submit. And when we go back to our spreadsheet, we can see that Jackie's information is there. Um, just to let you know for the demo purposes so that I'm not sending random emails to all of the people in the list, I just put my email address in for everybody. Um, but as you send this out, it will auto-collect those email addresses from each of the people who complete the form, and that will all be taken care of for you automatically. So um, we'll go ahead and go activate Autocrat. So when I go over to Autocrat, I go to Launch. And what Autocrat is doing when we launch it, it's going to access the spreadsheet, and in just a moment, it will come up and let us access the template that we just made. And it's going to try to match the column headers on our spreadsheet to the data tags that we put into that template. So as soon as it comes up here. All right, so Autocrat opened on the right-hand side of our screen, which is where all of the add-ons that I've used open to configure them. So we look over here and we click New Merge Job uh, so that we can get this uh, file going. Oh, and we get an error. Dismissed itself. All right, so on the next screen that comes up, we're going to choose that template that we just made. So it's going to take us out to our uh, Google Drive, and mine, we can see at the top here, was called Autocrat Template Bart. Go ahead and hit return. So there's my template. I click once on it and then I click select. So that's going to match that template to the spreadsheet for this Autocrat uh, merge job. So I will call this uh, BART screencast demo. And you can call it anything that you want to. And it's going to do the best it can to go ahead and match these columns. And it looks like when we look through here, that it matched those exactly as we would want it. So I'll go ahead and click Save. And on this next screen, remember what Autocrat is doing is creating an individual report or Google Doc for each of the people who complete the form. So what it's asking for us to do at this screen is to tell it how would we like those documents named. And in general, um, because we collected the names last name, comma, first name, I'm going to go ahead and choose name. So these blue words that you see at the top of the screen, you might notice are the headings of our spreadsheet with a dollar sign put in front of each one of them. So all I need to do is copy it exactly as how it is at the top. If I wanted to, I could put a comma and include the school building. And you'll notice up here, school is lowercase, as is building, no spaces. So I'll go ahead and just uh, show you that we can include multiple uh, tags in our name. Now the next thing we have to do is tell it if we want it to create these files as Google Docs or if we want them to be created as PDFs. The advantage of creating them as PDFs is that if you would need to print these files, there's an extra tool that I will show you called PDF Mergy that lets you take all of those PDFs and treat them as one file to send to the printer. Because one of the uh, challenges that folks who are used to Microsoft Word and switch to Google Docs is that in Microsoft Word, we used to be able to open a whole set of documents and send them to print. And in Google Docs, we need to open those as individual files to be able to send them to the printer. So I would recommend that you save those as PDFs. Now we can also auto return these documents to the people who created them. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and check that box. 
And to, for this to work, we need to have collected their email address, which remember is the same as your username when you have a Google account. So I'll go ahead and type in here dollar sign username and I will say your BART goal summary for 2015 fall semester. And that will show up on every single person who gets theirs back. That will be the subject line of the email. Um, hope, let's see, what, what message would we tell everybody? Uh, thanks for your work in this process to improve teaching and ultimately student, improve student learning. And we can then click on advanced settings down below. And this is where I, why we made that folder in advance. So because we've made the folder that we want those documents to be saved in, now we can click add folder and we can go choose the folder that we made. And it will automatically put those PDF files in this folder every single time someone hits that uh, submit button. So I'm going to check the box that says please run autocrat anytime a new form is submitted and hit save and then we'll go ahead and run autocrat on the spreadsheet that we already have going. So take just a moment. We're almost to the end so when it comes back to this screen you'll notice that there is a run merge button that's blue at the bottom of the screen and this will run the autocrat process on the two entries that we already have in the spreadsheet. So I'll go ahead and click that run merge button. It tells you that it's preparing to merge and then it will give you a status update as it goes through the lines on the spreadsheet. So it tells us right now it's evaluating the data in line one of two. It will do that for the second row, then it will merge uh, both of those jobs. And then we will go see the results. I've already got a notice that came in on my phone that I received an email uh, with my results. So we will go look at my email in a bit. But before we do that, I'm just going to sh shut my autocrat uh, box here. Well, we'll just scroll over and we'll notice that it created um, four columns that it appended onto our spreadsheet. And remember when we named the files, we said, please include the username, comma, and the building name. So you can see that it named mine Her Lynn, comma, Green Middle School. It named Jackie's Ediger, comma, Jackie at Purple Alternative School. And if we click onto this document, it will take us right to that file that it generated. And so we'll see, uh, it's in a different account, of course. Um, let me back up and switch over to my other account. All right, so we're looking at the template, but when I switch back over to my account, so I'm gonna go in here and now go into open this file, and it should open when I switch to my uh, ESU account since that was the address that I shared that with. We should see my report. So it's got that pretty header. It pulled the date. Notice that it leaves off the time without us having to tell it to do that. And you can see all of the type that I put in bold. That is still bold. And then it pulled my answers off of the spreadsheet into this nice format. So it automatically emailed that to me. And uh, we can go look at my email so that you can see what I got. I'll go out here to uh, switch over to my Gmail account. And you can see what, as the teacher, this is what I would have been emailed. So I'll go ahead and open this up. And I can open my sharing settings. Or I can just go straight to click on that link. And I'm seeing the same file that I was just showing you that's stored in the spreadsheet. So as the administrator and owner of this file, um, you always have those links included right in the spreadsheet um, with all of the other information. So the great thing is that's Autocrat and that will continue to work like that for anyone else who completes the form. And just to show you, I'll go ahead and go back to our form and say submit another response. Uh, this time we'll fill it out for Laura. Uh, Laura's at Orange High School and she reports to Dr. Jindra. She's choosing uh, eight, uh, previewing new content. Um, she will, let's see, I will, 
uh, I will implement three new strategies for previewing content this semester. And just to show you, um, it still works whether or not someone completes something. So maybe she misses this. Now it won't let her answer because this is a required question. Um, so we'll say, um, I'm not sure, which happens. And as the administrator, uh, that would give you a chance to follow up with her. And we'll say uh, student products and interviews is how she'll know if that works. And she doesn't send a copy. We'll go ahead and hit submit. And now when we go back to our master spreadsheet, you can see that Laura's information all came in. Um, Autocrat will be running and in just a moment, uh, there will be uh, a link to the document just like we had that will show up here in the spreadsheet. So that's how it works. That's Autocrat.